Getting used to Iowa State winning. Mark Rogers, he read the Voice of College Football, breaking down the schedules like nobody else. Uh, right here at the Voice of College Football, uh, we rank the schedules each and every offseason. That means 70 all the way up to number one. These are the Power 5 schedules, uh, including the major independents. We've arrived at the 37th most difficult schedule in college football, number five in the Big 12. Of course, uh, you can help us build the channel by doing your Amazon shopping by grabbing the link in the description section below. Join us on Patreon. We're going to have a whole lot of fun over there. I've got a lot in store to be announced very shortly. As soon as we work out a few details, please join us on Patreon at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football community. Be part of the community and you will truly, you will see, be part of the community and part of our effort there. We need you. And if you love college football, this is the place to be. Please subscribe, share the videos, like, and comment. All right, Iowa State starts out with Northern Iowa on August 31st, and they've got a bye week, which, of course, based on injury factors, they shouldn't need a bye week at that point, but they will have an extra week of game planning for the big showdown against Iowa in the Cyhawk series. Iowa, Iowa State, September 14th, and that's been a very entertaining game in recent years, especially two years ago in Ames when the Hawkeyes pulled out a 41 41- 44-41 overtime win. Uh, Iowa State's other non-conference game is Louisiana and Monroe. So I mentioned this just a couple schedules ago because I have got Iowa ranked as the 39th schedule in the country. Iowa State at number 37 is that these are the most boring schedules in the country because they always play each other and they only play three non-conference games. So that only leaves two other non-conference games to be scheduled and they never go out and schedule Washington or somebody of that ilk, don't, they don't schedule another Power 5 team. They go out and schedule a MAC and an FCS is basically the formula typically. And for Iowa State this year, it's Northern Iowa and Louisiana Monroe. So Hawkeye fans and Cyclone fans, you know that you're always going to play each other and then you're going to play two walkovers. And you're never going to see an interesting Power 5 matchup. All right, let's get to the Iowa State schedule past the non-conference games there. We go to September 28th with a date at Baylor to open up the Big 12. And that really starts a stretch of five very difficult games for for the Cyclones at Baylor, TCU, at West Virginia, at Texas Tech, and Oklahoma State. That's the most difficult stretch of the season. Although, after a bye week on November 2nd, The Cyclones then have to play Oklahoma on the road, then Texas at home. So, of course, that's the most difficult back-to-back stretch. Oklahoma, Texas back-to-back at the beginning of November. And then they close out with Kansas and Kansas State on the road. It's the fifth most difficult schedule in the Big 12. It's number 37th in the nation. And let's see where we've got the uh, Cyclones finishing in 2019. Our projection right now. Is eight and four for Iowa State and six and three in conference play. So that's pretty much a repeat of last season in which they lost a heartbreaker to Washington State on a failed two point conversion at the Alamo Bowl to finish at eight and five. Eight and four for the Cyclones, six and three in the Big 12 as they finish just behind the legs of Oklahoma and Texas and maybe TCU. Leave your record projection. I want to hear from you. So in each of these videos, please leave your record projection for these schools and whatever comments you have to say about the schedule uh, down in the comment section below. Do your Amazon shopping using the link in the description section as well. Right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Keep it locked in and we'll be back with schedule number 36.